Hey friends, thanks so much for watching. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I am so excited to be sharing with you another Christmas decorate with me. Today I'm tackling my master bedroom and the music studio. I'm also gonna be doing a little bit on the outside of the house, but the majority of that is gonna be saved for another video. So definitely be sure to hit the like button and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any more of my Christmas decorate with me videos this year. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Soon as you remove that snow Whatever we do, we will be all right. These holidays. It would not be cold weather season or Christmas if I didn't put some flannel sheets on my bed and I absolutely love these sheets. I will try and have them linked in the description box. They are from Kohl's and they had so many different patterns. They had only a few choices in the store but they had so many more online so if you are into tons of different Christmas prints they had something for everybody but they had a really good deal on these when I got them because I had a 20% off coupon and they've been running so many Black Friday deals. So definitely a great time to get a set of sheets if you're looking for them. It came with the fitted sheet and then of course two pillowcases. And let me know if you guys make your beds like this. Do you put your top sheet upside down so that way when you flip it back you see the pattern or do you put it on so that the pattern is facing up? You'll see what I mean in just a second. I'm just so curious how many of you guys make your bed like this. These holiday wonders will open your mind. May all your wishes do come true the love I live the dream I knew I may have asked you guys this over on Instagram and if you're not following me on Instagram definitely be sure to do that so you can catch up with me on a day-to-day -day basis but I've been thinking about moving this duvet down to my guest room I have a full bed down there and this duvet just seems to fit a full bed so much better than a queen and then I'd love to get something new up here in the master bedroom something just a little bit more farmhouse and maybe even a little bit of a vintage feel to it so if you have any suggestions for a affordable bedding especially duvets and duvet covers then definitely leave those in the comments because I have been searching for something that fits my style and sometimes I feel like you guys know me so well so if you have any suggestions please leave them down below So this is what I mean when I say I flip the top sheet back so you can see the pattern when I pull the bed back. I always like to kind of turn my bed down a little bit. Just makes it way easier to get into in the evening and I love when you can see the color and the pattern of the sheet. So I'm so curious what you guys like to do. But anyway, we're moving on to the dresser that is in front of my bed and I just have a few little things that I want to set out. This little Santa is a Scentsy. It's like a wax melt. And if you guys don't have one or you've never tried one before, I highly recommend them. They're definitely safer than candles. And this one was a freebie. I actually got it from somebody at work. And you can use any kind of wax melts in it. It just really smells super good. And I have a candle in the lantern and just a few other little knickknacks here on the dresser just to make it feel extra cozy. But I really love how this space turned out. You can see I threw a little throw blanket over the duvet just to give that extra little bit of pattern and texture. And then I'm so happy with how the dresser turned out. I just, I don't like to overdo it in the master bedroom. I think sometimes less is more. He missed out on love and that's for sure. Alright guys, we're moving on to my music studio now and I'm very excited that I have the ability to put up more than one tree. I'm thinking at some point I would love to have three trees and I know for some of you that's probably totally extra but I just love Christmas trees so much and this small little one I have had for a really long time. It belonged to my parents and then I inherited it for my very first apartment when I was in college and I've just kind of been using it ever since but it fits this little space here by my piano so perfectly. And Jack and I had the idea to just completely deck out this Christmas tree in all of our music ornaments because we are both musicians and we have collected quite a few music ornaments over the years. So in just a second, I'm going to string this with lights. And then I also have some really beautiful Christmassy looking ribbon that has music notes on it that my mom got me. And it just really completes this room and makes everything feel so musical and festive. my bells no more. Oh. 
that's for sure like to do themed Christmas trees or are you more of just a traditional Christmas tree kind of person? I definitely feel like this was such a great idea to do a themed tree in the one room in the house that is very themed since we have instruments in here and it's pretty much just dedicated to giving lessons and things like that. But let me know what you guys do. I know that there are so many people that do things differently than I do and I love hearing about all the different styles and ways to do things. It gives me so much inspiration. Jingle bells ringing in my ear Jingle bell a sound that's oh so dear Frosty the snowman is all around town Watch out the rain, these are falling down We stay up waiting for Santa tonight He climbs down the chimney at the speed of light While we're dancing around the Christmas tree Hugging and kissing the so I really love the way that this tree turned out, but then I noticed that because we didn't have as many ornaments as I thought, I wanted to go back in and just add a few of the multicolored balls. And I went with all of the warm and neutral toned Christmas balls that I had. So most of these are gold, silver, even a little bit of like a burnt orange. I really love warm Christmas lights. I know that when you go to the store, you can get like cool lights or warm lights. I definitely tend to be more of a warm light kind of girl, but this little white tree that I'm decorating here is in the guest room. I didn't want to go crazy in the guest room and all of the colors in my guest room are very pastel, pinks and purples and greens. So I decided to use all of my smaller little pastel colored ornaments to decorate this white tree. And I think that it turned out really nice. It just gives that little pop of Christmas without being too over the top. The last thing I'm going to share with you guys in today's video is a little bit of a sneak peek of the outside of the house and I included some of this in the video today because I always put these candles in the front windows of my home and it's a little bit of an inside decor and outside decor thing. I usually pull the curtains so you can see the candles when you're inside the living room but you also see them from the street and I use these suction cups to hold them to the windows just because I don't want my cat to knock them over. I also don't want them to lean back and touch the curtains I just feel like that would be a fire hazard so I will link these candles and suction cups down below I got them off Amazon and I used two suction cups per candle this year to make sure they were extra sticky and then I'm also gonna put wreaths on the windows and I did this last year and I really loved how it looked I'm not putting any lights in the wreaths I talked about that um, this year and I just decided not to I think if I do it next year I'll get a set of battery operated ones with a remote so I can just kind of go around and turn them on with a remote but I just attached a little ribbon at the top and then there's a bow, a buffalo check bow at the very bottom and these look so nice when you stand all the way back on the street and you guys will get to see the full effect of all the outdoor decorations in my next decorate video. We're gonna do the roof line and the front door and everything like that so definitely be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and if you're not subscribed, make sure you're subscribed with your bell notifications turned on that way you don't miss any more of my Christmas content this year. Thank you guys so so much for watching and I will see you guys really soon with another video. Bye guys. A sunny day but it's cold outside. It tingles in my heart. Breathing air that clears my mind. I'm all for a good start. I 
hear those jingle bells, people singing about love. It feels like I'm a kid, like I'm forever young. 